Let's have a look at the new operation builder in Banana Cake Pop. So I'm opening a new document here and feeding in a graphical endpoint. And then we are greeted with this new layout here where we have this new operation builder. You can collapse it if you need more space for your query. But if you want to create a new operation, this is really a great tool. So I'm creating here a new query. Let's call it get assets. And then we can pick from all the fields that we have on the query root type. So I'm going here for assets. And then I'm picking from the nodes the ID and the name. And I'm also diving into the price object and from there I'm picking the last price. Let's run it. And there's the result. So super simple. But it's also really great if you have abstract return types. In this case, let's go for the nodes field for instance. And let's call this query get nodes. And then we pick here the node field. And from the node field, we can now pick what return type we expect. So in our case, we're gonna go for assets and we wanna have the name. Let's also quickly add the argument, then copy over here one of these IDs, and then we are good to go. Let's run it. That's super easy, but that's not where it stops. It's also great to explore the schema or explore the schema connections of a query type. So I'm going here into our dashboard query that we are using in one of our relay clients. And you can see I have a ton of fragments here. So when I inspect the query, I might go here to the price of something. I kind of can get that from the tooltip. But the moment I click in here, it zooms in and tells me that this is the asset price object. Actually, it just has these two fields, but I know immediately where in the schema I am and how I got to this point. But I can also quickly go to other fragments, for instance, this gainers fragment, go on here and I see in this fragment, I actually are selecting now this fragment spread. This, by the way, works both ways. So I can also use a different fragment and then just click on epoch here and then it zooms back up where this field is in my query. So it's super nice to explore with the operation builder also queries that I have, especially when they are larger. So what do you think about the new operation builder in Banana Cake Pop? Try it out and give us feedback.